people. Am I not the toughest person you have ever seen in your entire life, man? <laughs> It's a hot... Please, may I bring in... Please, may I bring in the new intercontinental heavyweight champion, Tito Santana. What, you bring your whole family with you, man? Yeah. I got them all, brother. And I like them. You like them. <laughs> See, that's the difference between me and you. I, I don't need people screaming for me to give me enough guts to defend my championship. You don't need much. You don't need much. Why do you have A's behind you all the time? Only because he's my... Only only because he's my friend. But let me ask you something, smart Alec. If you're so tough and you just become the champion, how come all of a sudden you're in a whole bunch of tag team matches with a whole bunch of people, but you ain't defending nothing one-on-one -on -one no more, man? It's not that I'm not defending one-on-one. -on -one. I will defend. You won't do nothing. I will defend when I need to defend the belt. Steamboat asks me for help. I'll help Steamboat. If Junkyard Dog asks me for help, I'll help Junkyard Dog. If Paul asks me for help, I'll help. Arnold, you would help Arnold? Wait a second. Let me ask you something. Would you go for $25,000 with Arnold? Would you do that? I don't need no $25,000. You're afraid, aren't you? You're afraid. You're afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid for nobody. In the first place, I don't associate myself with garbage like you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He doesn't associate himself with garbage like me. If you had the 25 grand, maybe you could buy some new shoes instead of them flip-flops and pay all that back rent, Tito, huh? I can, if I can move over to what you were one of the first guests on Piper's Pit after winning the Intercontinental title. Uh, you know, the theme, of course, was Piper attacking your Latino heritage. Do either of you have any trepidation about that segment? Uh, you know, clearly you, you couldn't get away with that stuff in today. You know how sensitive everything is today. You know, any uh, trepidation when you guys were doing that segment? No, because, you know, wrestling was a work. And, and, and Vince had already, you know, uh, kind of exposed the business, you know, by then, you know. And uh, whenever somebody like Roddy Piper would insult you, it would help you get over. Mm -hmm. You know, so it it was uh, mm -hmm. it was just a. Uh, I knew that you know Piper kind of respected me, and I respected him, and you know we were just trying to help each other, and you know who was better than Piper, you know, on the mic. I mean, right. he, the guy was fantastic. Is he the greatest heel in the history of this business when he was on top of his game? If not the greatest, I would say he was one of the greatest. I mean, he, he, here's a guy that that's not as big as I was uh, and wrestled everybody much bigger than him, mm. and you didn't see him get beat too much, and he wouldn't go down to, you know, It, you wouldn't knock him down, you know, on the mat, you know, very often, you know. So, mm -hmm. and 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 who worked the fans better than, than than Roddy Piper? Roddy Piper legitimately tough behind the scenes in real life. I think he was. You know, I heard some some mm -hmm. stories where you know I think he was a boxer, and you know, uh, you know he was a stand up guy. You know, I don't think he backed down in real life to you know to too many guys. I know you don't watch. Right Not just dreaming it, we're doing it by rip Straight, straight